What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2023 Fanatics Under Wraps signed football jerseys just sold out. This is a three box half case break, five random players each, number one, guys. And again, 18 total spots. Everybody gets five random players from the list below, and Moon and Aikman are comboed, guys, chasing Mahomes, Brady, Peyton Manning, Jefferson, Tua, and plus more. All officially licensed, chanted inscription autographs, Hall of Famers, Pro Bowl jerseys, and more. So obviously, we copied and pasted the list here. And it is 18 total spots. So we're going to times it by five. So you got five different players. So that's one there. That's two. Three. Four. Five. So that should make 90 <coughs> to match you up. Click the dice roll 10 times on the list of names and players. Six and a four. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten times, six and a four, ten, ten. Steve down to William. And now we're gonna go ten times here on the list of players. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Damian Pierce all the way down to Bo Jackson. Now again, guys, obviously, I'm not going to read off every single player <laughs> and, and name, sorry. It's just too much. But what I'll do, though, is I'm going to alphabetize it by customer name really quick, and then I'll let you guys see the teams or players you guys have really quick. So, like, Dale, there's your five players there, including Patrick Mahomes and Payne Manning. Damn, that's a pretty good randomizer for you. Eugene... There's your players there. In there, you got a little uh, Aaron Rodgers in there. Tom Brady. Oh, that's nice. Amongst the rest of your players there. Some active, some legends. Some out of the league already. Jason K, here's your five players. Got a little Ray Lewis, Justin Jefferson action in there as well. Josh. Saquon in there for you. Brett Favre, Jim Kelly. Couple quarterbacks, Roger Staubach too. All right, okay, okay. Joshua Rojas, you got a little Russell Wilson in there, Dan Marino, Doug Williams, couple quarter, actually four quarterbacks in there. Phil Sims too. Basically, Steve Largent's your only that's not a quarterback. All right, so Natalie, you have uh, from Charles Wilson to Zach Wilson. You got a little Jerry Rice action there, Devontae Adams, Michael Irving, Marshall Falk, Tua Tagovailoa, Waddle. All right. Steve, you have obviously a, a handful, a little bit more than I can show on one screen here, but Damian Pierce to Sauce right there. In there, you also have like DeAndre Swift, Michael Parsons, you know, Erlacher, Love, Elway, Tarkenton. All right, and then just a little bit more down here. Dick Buckus, RIP, right? Chubb, Trevor Lawrence, Vic, Terry Bradshaw, Barry Sanders. And then here you go, prime time, that's your players there from Bob Greasy down to Bo Jackson. But yeah, I don't think people are gonna trade, but I'll leave it up there <laughs> while I go grab the case and then when I come back, we'll close it. Uh, I'm not sure who has Jerry Rice. 
You know, you'd have to ask uh, uh, Jerry Rice again. Natalie, I'm not sure if Natalie's watching. I'll give it 30 seconds, though. All right, let's just close this, dude. Good luck, man. Maybe some try to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. All right, so I'll leave that list up like that. Now again, obviously I have the case right here. It's a little too big for the table here, so I'm gonna try to open it up here. Remember, that was all sealed. Do not open with sharp, sharp objects, but obviously we're safe here, right? Professionals. Got a little paper on top of it. I'm gonna just take out the jersey. So obviously, these three would be here. And then there's three more right here. All right, make it a total of six. All right, empty box, all right? So obviously, we're only gonna do three. So if I roll a one, two, three, we're gonna go with the top three, four, five, six with the bottom three. Okay? Here we go, good luck. Nope. Landed right there, three. So they go one, two, three, we're gonna go with the top three. So I'll put these right here. These three are gonna be for another break. I'm gonna put these somewhere back over here. Here we go. I'll grab one at a time from here. That way you guys can see it perfectly there. And uh, let's see if we can play a little Who Am I? See if people are interested. Who will you unwrap, guys? Oh, it's got a nice little sleeve and everything, too. Look at that. All right, well, let me see. Try to take a peek first. I know you guys have that top camera, but usually they give us like a little little index card. So I'm gonna try to see if I can grab that somewhere. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there it is. Grab the index card. All right. All right, so this is actually a player that's technically active, but I don't think has been picked up by a team just yet. To my knowledge, he is a free agent at the moment. But he is a 28-year-old running back that has played for two different teams in his career. Right, out of LSU, first round pick number four. I forgot how high he was. Man. <laughs> yeah, I think the I think the free agent part of it already kind of killed it off, right? Don't know which team it's gonna be on though, but I'm gonna play for two teams. Won a Super Bowl with one team in 20, uh, 20? I wanna say 2021, 2020? Yeah. All SEC team, over 4,000 NFL rushing yards. Still a little bit, still a little, still a little bit gas in the tank, but yes, should be a Tampa Bay jersey, but you never know with these ones. And yeah, it looks like Tampa Bay, obviously. Nice. There's the ink right there. It's a very nice jersey, to be honest. I don't even know if I want to unfold it, but I guess I should, right? Yeah, let me just unfold it. I'll have my wife fold it close. She's much better than I am. There you go. So obviously this isn't a team break. It goes to whoever has Leonard Fournette. So actually, who has Leonard Fournette? 
<clears throat> Leonard, Leonard, Leonard. Steve, that's you, buddy. It's going to go to you, Leonard Fournette. All right, well, don't worry. Before we ship it out, we'll fold it back up nicely in there. I'm just going to post it back in the box. I'll also put this back in there as well, too. Um, it's probably just an officially licensed jersey, but it's not one of the probably on-field jerseys. So it's probably one of those jerseys that are probably like over a hundred bucks. But it's still officially licensed though. It's just probably not a game jersey where it's like two, three hundred dollar jersey. Yeah, I believe all the game jerseys are stitched and obviously much thicker material. That one's just probably just an officially licensed jersey. Of the second box. We have a former professional quarterback in the NFL who played for 15 years, spent his entire career with one team in the NFL, uh, currently working as a television sportscaster uh, for CBS. So that kind of narrows it down a little bit. He was a first round pick in 1979, two time Super Bowl champion, was a Super Bowl MVP. NFL Man of the Year award winner, two-time Pro Bowler, and his number 11 retired for the team he played for his whole career. Not in the Hall of Fame, but is a two-time Super Bowl champion. Not Jim Kelly, not Matt Ryan, not Warner. Close, Eugene, but not Joe Theismann. I won a couple Super Bowls with the Giants. That helps. Who was the quarterback for the Giants when they won a couple of Super Bowls? That's the team he played for his whole career. Yes, there you go, Kev. Sims. Phil Sims. True, Eli did win a color Super Bowls, but <laughs> he did not play in the <laughs> he did not play in the uh, 80s and 90s though. And wow, look at this! Actually, this is pretty cool. So this one actually has so this one is stitched. First of all, Phil Sims, and then it also has Super Bowl MVP inscription, which is pretty nice. And. Uh, Again, we'll fold it back nicely. But really, really cool jersey. Retro and everything. This is a Mitchell and Ness jersey. $150 MSRP. Probably a Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness, a much, much better brand. So yeah, pretty nice for an old school Giants fan right there. Okay, we'll fold that back up nicely again. Before we ship it out. Alright. And um, who has Phil Sims? Joshua Rojas. Congratulations, man.
All right, one more to go, guys. So again, if you guys like this stuff, um, <laughs> is, this, is that who it is? It's our customer, uh, Mariner, second baseman. Could be. You never know. It's a small world, right? <laughs> wow. How fitting we hit this jersey. This is awesome, actually. I'm, I'm really, really stoked for this one. And I'm literally watching his football life right now, too. All right. I'm a former NFL linebacker. I played from 1965 to 1973. Only played nine years in the NFL, was an eight-time Pro Bowler, named to six first-team All-Pros, and uh, was twice named the NFL Defensive Player of the Year. Can't believe I pulled this jersey. How crazy is that? But unfortunately, he just passed away yesterday. Played only for the Bears, but in nine seasons was able to get into the Pro Football Hall of Famer. This dude, honestly, like, I remember my brother telling me stories about this dude. I mean, obviously, he didn't really get to see him as much, but my brother was born in the 70s. But obviously, he loved linebackers. He's like, dude, this, this dude's legit. I'd see so many freaking videos of this dude. This dude is like a monster. I'd be so afraid to get tackled by this guy. And yeah, I mean, obviously, all the accolades he did, part of the 1960s decades team, 70s, NFL 75th anniversary team, NFL 100th anniversary team, retired number 51, uh, one of the greatest Bears of all time, blah, blah, blah. They have a freaking Dick Buckus award named after him in college. And yeah, Dick Buckus, that's freaking awesome. I can't believe we actually hit one of these. And there you go. That is so awesome. Another Mitchell and Ness jersey, too. <coughs> awesome. All right, let's see who that goes to, though. Really jealous about that one. Steve, wow. That goes to you, Steve. You have Dick Buckus. Congrats, buddy. I gotta take a picture of this too. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, when players like this guy pass away, I mean, his, his stuff is probably worth a lot more now than it was, you know, two days ago probably, but obviously, hopefully you hold on to this one. This would be a freaking awesome one to just have in your collection. But yeah, guys, this was it, that was it. So those were the three hits, Dick Buckus, um, we hit the Phil Sims, and then we hit the Leonard Fournette. So there's still three boxes remaining out of this case. I mean, could be much better. You never know, guys. Um, so if you guys want to try another one, definitely get another one going, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com, guys. Thank you.